So almost all cases with acromegaly are due to a pituitary tumor. It's usually a macroadenoma, meaning a tumor that's greater than one centimeter, as opposed to a microadenoma, which is a pituitary tumor less than one centimeter. So both cases are possible, even rare cases of no tumor seen because it's so small you can't find it on the MRI. But the vast majority of patients with acromegaly have a macroadenoma, and that will be seen on the MRI. And that is a pituitary tumor that looks like a lesion there or a mass lesion that is overproducing and over secreting growth hormone causing this disease. Almost all patients will have a growth hormone secreting pituitary adenoma as the cause for their acromegaly. There are very rare situations where there are alternate causes of acromegaly. And those are patients that have what we call ectopic secretion of growth hormone. That can be from a tumor somewhere else that makes growth hormone or a tumor somewhere else that makes growth hormone releasing hormone, GHRH, which is the stimulator for growth hormone. They're both very uncommon, although GHRH secretion as an ectopic source of acromegaly is more likely than ectopic GH secretion. But in either case, you, you would have no pituitary tumor, but you would have an excess of growth hormone or its stimulator, GHRH, coming from another tumor source.